Yeah. Corpus Christi has these low tides that go on for quite a while. If you walk the rocks during these times, you may find the elusive stone crab. These delicacies are not easy to find. You really have to know what you're looking for. And when you do find one, you can take one claw, the right claw, if it's 2.5 inches long. Alright you guys, I think we have uh, stumbled upon our very first stone crab. Um, it's uh, really hard to see. So, uh, I think I'll just uh, grab him for you guys. Let the waves calm down a little bit. Right here. Alright, here we go you guys. Now this one's not quite big enough, it's a female too. The claw looks to be about two inches long, maybe a little less. So we'll let this guy go. The claw is over here. Well, you can only take the right claw first of all, which is not even the right one. But if it were the right one, um, it would have to be two and a half inches. So we'll keep looking. There's a little guy. He's, he's really small. So we'll just... Let him go on his eating business. Now as you can see, there's no shortage of small crabs here. But if you want the really big ones, you're gonna have to start digging for them. Alright, this looks like it might be a crab hole. So, let's... Feel around. Oh, there's something in here. There's, there's a crab in here. I finally pulled it out, but unfortunately, it's a female with eggs and it doesn't even have the right claw to take, so we'll let this one go. Alright. I'm chilling right here too, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh! This one's legal, but fudge, man, this crab has been through a lot. Oh man, this one's definitely legal. This crab, for this crab has been through a lot. Look, it's missing its left claw and four of its left legs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to let this guy go or this girl go. I, I feel bad. It's gonna, definitely gonna die if I take the claw. It's definitely a legal claw though. That's a big one. Oh, this one feels really big. Ooh, this one feels big. Ooh, this one feels big. Yes, yes, yes. This one All right, so we caught ourselves a stone crab and now we want to excise its claw. It's right claw here, the big one, the two and a half inch one. Um, we want to take it off. Now, you want to take it off correctly because 
you know, people say that crabs regrow their limbs, but that's only true if you break it off at a very specific joint down here. And if you miss that joint, then it won't be able to seal off its blood loss. It'll die. It won't regrow. It won't even stay alive, okay? So you want to do it correctly. Most people, they just want to twist it off. No, dude, that is wrong, okay? Um, there are ways to do this that have a very difficult learning curve, and I don't recommend it, okay? I recommend instead injuring the claw, and once it senses it is injured, the crab will drop it in on its own, and it'll do it the correct way, break off at the right spot. So, I pick one of these membranes down here, there's two, and I just stick its other claw or one of its legs into it, and just injure it, and then it just drops it. It drops it off exactly at the right joint and it forms a very clean membrane seal that stops the blood loss and this crab will probably live okay this is the correct way to declaw stone crab you guys all right you guys we have changed locations uh, we are in the bay now the bay side so uh hopefully we can get some stone crabs um we only have one so far but uh if we get a couple more that'd be a nice little uh, snack so a nice snack so let's uh wish wish, wish me luck it's not a stone crab but it's pretty nice if i can get it where did it go oh slippery little guy Now that's a stone crab claw, about three and a half inches. Nice. We good. Oh, nice. All right, that's a legit legal size stone crab. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? That is sick. The visibility in this water is pretty decent too. Let's go grab it in a second. Nice. A little smaller than the other one, I think, but this is legit nice. Whew.
this it's a big stone Dude, this is one of my best stone crab days I've ever had. Yeah, man, look at these guys. Ooh. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're back. And man, we had a pretty good night. Check these out. These guys are no slouch. We caught some nice stone crabs, you guys. You know, if you guys want to go out and catch some stone crabs, you know, go during the low tide, uh, look around the oysters and stuff. I hope you guys find them. Make sure you get the right claw only, at least in Texas and Florida. Uh, I think you can take both. Um, but anyways, yeah, these are not the Florida stone crab, this is the Gulf stone crab, it's a little bit different, but they're almost the same species, almost. Um, uh, slightly different patterns, you know, it's not like the yellow one, uh, claws with the black spots. Um, instead, uh, we got this nice claw, um, very excited to cook them up. Uh, definitely cook them up as soon as you get home, okay, because we did puncture it, and, uh, it, um, may cause slight decline in uh, quality but uh yeah um cook them as soon as you get home and uh they're gonna be good you guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time